the camera sees like during real time passing through the conveyor belt they are analyzed by the computer vision software hi welcome to this video i'm sergio my computer vision consultant developer and course instructor and i help company startups and developers to easily and efficiently build computer vision software lately i'm focusing on manufacturing companies and especially how we can help them improve their processes by making them more reliable more efficient and more scalable with the use of computer vision. So in this video today, we're going to see how computer vision can help manufacturing uh, to help all these processes instead of the human control uh, that there, there is usually in the manufacturing companies for like quality control, how computer vision can take the, that over. And in this specific case, we will be focusing on the O-ring. So these are the O-rings you should be familiar with them. They are the most uh, commonly used uh, product in the industry for uh, sealing. So when you put your ring between two surfaces, they will not allow any fluid uh, or gas or air to pass through them. And what we will see is now how do manufacturing at the moment control their quality, what type of defects uh, these products uh, have during the production. And also I want to show like the most impor important part of this video, how can computer vision take over this process to make it smooth and, and, and better. And also I will tell you some technical details uh, on how can this be up in, uh, put inside the company, so how can this system be deployed inside the company, and also some technical aspect about the computer vision, how this can be done. Now, before analyzing the rings, uh, production and solutions with computer vision, I want to let you know that if you're a developer, startup, uh, like company, and you just want, or like a freelancer, and you just want to learn more about computer vision uh, in the most efficient and fastest way, how to detect and track objects, I have a free crash course that you can download from the link below. I mean, you can register it's pystore.com slash Blueprint. It's a one hour workshop where I will work you through uh, computer vision from scratch, how you can learn the base of computer vision to more, more advanced algorithm to detect and track objects. PySource.com slash blueprint. And now let's get back to the uh, ring production. We are now going to see the five most common defects that happen during the ring pro uh, production uh, in the manufacturing companies. For this, I'm going to take some references from this research, which is called Product Defect Categorization Using Machine Vision Through Machine Learning. So if you inter uh, are interested in this research, of course, I'm going to put uh, the link of this research either on the blog post or, um, or like in the description below. Uh, they analyze the ORIN productions uh, to see the defects and propose some machine vision solutions. I'm also going to propose mine uh, because now uh, after this research there are more advanced solutions which will perform better but the goal now is just to take a look at what uh, are the problems that happen during the production there are five most common problems and all of them have the same like final bad result that if you put a damage or ring then you're going to have leakage of fluid uh, the first reason is material shortage this one and this is what happens when there is material shortage during the production. There is some part that it's missing on the ring. So that's a defect that you want to detect right away. Uh, because if there is material shortage, it, it will not problem, be a problem of only one ring, but probably all of them, they are going to have uh, problems. So it's better to stop the production as soon as possible to fix this problem. Uh, second, we have spiral failure. You can see we have a few problems inside in, on the entire sp spiral. Again, same consequences, leakage of fluid. So this is a second defect. Uh, another one is we have some extra, extra bubble which were not properly cut by the machine. So well, this, this is very visible and very easy to detect even by the human eye. Uh, then, okay, this is the good one. So this has no defects at all. They use this as a reference. 
you see it's a perfect circle, very clean, no defects, and then they cut it one. So this one is uh, pretty much in two pieces. I mean, it's one piece, but it's it's not a circle anymore. It's cut it here. And of course, with the breakage, like this one, there is a leakage of fluid, very bad. We don't want this to happen. What is now the process that is used to detect the O-rings? Let's draw a conveyor belt. Let's suppose that we have a manufacturing company. This is the conveyor belt. Conveyor belt is here. Let's say that it's somewhere on the ground. So we have a conveyor belt. Uh, the rings, let's say that will be passing. So this will be our rings on the conveyor belt. So the, the and here, let's say some box where the rings are going to later either they will be put in um, in some different boxes like for to be sold now there is with a traditional manual control there will be some people right here which would have to do the task of detecting one by, by the way these are people right here just to be clear uh, which are detecting one by one the rings so if they find some defects they might uh, either remove it or if there is some defect for example due to material shortage so it means probably it's happening to all of the production they might need to stop the production and fix this problem what the research shows is that with the human eye the control is not so efficient because it requires of course a lot of focus so it's it starts to, uh, to get not so reliable uh, when there is like a very big production. Also, sometimes like the lightning environment is not the best. And if you can consider that your rings sometimes are very, very small, uh, it's very hard to, to detect the defects if there is no focus on the specific ring. And of course, you can do that also one by one uh, to have like the maximum focus. So that's uh, how it's now are uh, normally happening to like the quality control. And that's also the standard in different industries. Uh, if you don't control them one by one, depending on the product, my, uh, uh, quality control might be only detecting a few samples. So if you have 1000 products, you might uh, check randomly 50, 50 of them. So if 50 of them are okay, you don't see any defects, you can assume that all the other products don't have any defects. Uh, as well. So this is the traditional solution. So we can say uh, a few adjectives about this solution. First of all, so let's say traditional or like we can say manual, let's say the traditional manual. I will say, first of all, it's not very reliable, not reliable. It's not reliable. This is an L. Uh, high cost, cost, it's not scalable, so high cost, you need a team of people like highly focused only for this specific task, doing just this one, it's not scalable because if you want to increase the produ production, like you will need more people, you can, you can just force the same like the same employee to make extra work like with the increase of the production and also it's not reliable uh, you need a lot of focus you need like the perfect condition lightning condition all the time and so on how will computer vision take over this process the concept is very very simple instead of uh, having people doing this task uh, there will be cameras place on top so this would be cameras could be one or two of course it depends how big is the production and it depends also on how is the structure of the company so this is just a very basic example so there we have like two cameras so the people that are here for this task they could do something else so like uh, 
it, it would be a better smarter use uh, of of them like to do some some more important tasks than just human uh, just uh, quality control so there will be not them so let's now remove for a moment this and let's now think about the sum solution Convivision solution so we have like let's say a couple of cameras looking in real time at the conveyor belt the cameras will be connected to a computer i'm drawing a very big computer but it's uh, could be even uh, like a computer of this size like either a normal standard computer it could be a laptop or a very uh, a very small like one board computer like that's so this is just a representation the computer will, will have a computer vision software which is going to analyze all the images that is taking in real time from the camera the computer vision software is going to detect one by one the o rings so let me show now quickly this step so i'm taking some references again from the research it is just a very basic gra uh, graphic user interface let's suppose that uh, on this side we have like the camera view so the camera sees like during real time passing through the conveyor belt uh they are they are analyzed by the computer vision software you see like the uh, the software will remove the background will use some advanced artificial intelligence to uh, detect the, the defects and it will say it's good or it's not good very simple also it can be even more advanced it can only it can also tell not only if it's not good but also what type of defect there is in that ring so you can keep in mind that computer vision is sophisticated and can tell you more information if you need to uh, have them so there will be uh, as i said a computer vision solution right here uh, it's detecting them in real time and it can re respond in different ways it can be connected to the conveyor belt uh, stop the conveyor belt if some specific defects is, is found like for example uh, material shortage it could be there could be some alarm system so it's going to send the input to the alarm or there might be connected like uh, some robot arm some gates like to to take in real time if you want some more advanced solution to take in real time out like the damage product and so on so what are the advantages of computer vision will be uh, let me find some space where to write this okay uh, I, I will put that uh, that down comp vision vision will be more reliable so reliable be reliable uh, lower cost in the long run because once you install the solution that will just be working 24 7 so it's it has a very low cost to be kept and then it's of course scalable it's scalable because the camera like even with just one camera like uh, the cameras can see a lot of o-rings or like any other products if you have a different manufacturing company the computer can process this very 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 quickly and so he, even if you put 100 or like 100 per second like if you have a very big fast production you can do that you can scale this very very easily so this is an example of how this computer vision can take over for quality control in the ring production again i want to say like this is an example for the ring it will work in any manufacturing company whatever uh, requires human eyes to to be processed computer vision can do that i hope that you got some useful information from this video if you want to uh, know more how we can help your company to solve similar tasks to improve like the processes manufacturing processes to make the company more efficient more reliable and more scalable you can contact us at pystores.com you can book a call and we can discuss about your solution this is all for this video see you in the next one